welcome to Turned On, U of M's foremost authority on all things sexy, dirty, and in between. I'm your host, Jillian, and I'm here today with Josh and Ari. Hi, I'm Josh, and if Donald Trump wins, I'm going to be taking a four-year vow of celibacy to protest. <laughs> not, not that anyone's, you know, stopping me from that goal already, but one, one day. Yeah, um, I'm Ari, and if you didn't vote today, you're going to catch these hands. And you do not want to catch those hands, let me tell you. <laughs> so much gonorrhea. <laughs> <laughs> so this week we're going to be discussing pubic hair maintenance. Uh, well, this might seem like an icky subject to some, it's pretty important and uh, it's definitely not talked about enough. So we're going to kick it off with Josh. Now when it comes to grooming, you've got a few tools at your disposal. The first of these is just good old fashioned trimming. So uh, what would you use to trim? Scissors? Razor? <laughs> what's the... Uh, razor's the most effective way, I mean, to, if you don't grow trimming? very much hair, like, you could use trim it, you could use, like, yeah. little, like, you don't want to use, like, safety scissors, or, like, kid well, scissors. Well, yeah, no. But, but, like, alright, if you want to trim it down, but, like, not completely get rid of it, you would yeah. probably use... You could use, like, grooming scissors, yeah. yeah. There's, like, yeah, there's, like, the ones, like, yeah. specifically for pubes. Yeah. I don't see why you couldn't use scissors if you're really yeah. careful. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I've used scissors. Yeah, I've yeah. used scissors. Cause, like, why not? I mean, when you're a kid and you're sort of like, all right, what am I going to do? Not yeah. a kid, but like oh, when so you're like, younger and you don't really know exactly how to do it, I was like way too afraid to use a razor because like, what if I cut I, my vagina? Yeah. <laughs> so then I just sort of used scissors and was like, all right, let's like trim it down. So there's trimming. Um, what else we got? Of course, you know, shaving, like we said. Um, you just got to be really careful because mm -hmm. that's like a really sensitive area. A lot of people say like you shouldn't shave at all because like it can like mess up your skin. Um, you can get ingrown hairs. True. Um, Should definitely use some sort of lubrication, mm -hmm. I, either like a shaving cream or some people say like you can use coconut oil because they say you can use coconut oil for everything. Coconut oil is fantastic. But you want to make sure that you don't go against the grain first. You want to go with the grain and then against the grain if you need to go against the grain at all. If you're looking to just kind of like, you know, cut it down, going with, uh, with the grain is going to be a lot safer. You're not going to get as many ingrown hairs, rashes, irritated skin, all yeah. of that you don't have to worry about. It's really nice. And I guess like if you want to prevent ingrown hairs, get like exfoliate, moisturize. Like yeah. don't just like it's sensitive. Like mm -hmm. don't treat it like your legs. Although you should also moisturize your legs. <laughs> but, yeah. But, but yeah. also yeah. Yeah. You just want to make sure you take care of it because it is you know sharp objects around sensitive areas, and you want to make sure that you don't get those ingrown hairs or rashes or yeah. like anything like that. And you need to make sure you moisturize it, keep it soft, and keep it safe. Perfect. So there's also um, waxing, which is a lot more effective against ingrown hairs and a, a lot, you know, you get a closer sh shave, obviously, because it rips out the hair, but it's a lot more painful. So do you think the trade-off is worth it? Like, it's also expensive. It is, yeah. It's, it's for me, it. it's not worth it. It's like, worth it. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not, like, super hairy to begin with, so this isn't a huge thing, and I keep everything, like, no one needed to know this. I keep everything <laughs> nice and clean anyways. <laughs> Uh, but it's just, yeah, I don't want to feel like I have to pay somebody yeah. to rip my hair out. I can do that myself. There are at-home waxing kits. Yeah. Yeah. No, still couldn't do it. I, uh, I mean, it lasts longer. So, yeah. like, last thing is when you shave, like, the next day, it's, like, stubbly. it's stubbly. Also, when it grows back, it's not stubbly. Like, the hair grows back softer. Yeah. Um, uh, your skin feels, like, so smooth. Like, it's just, it's, and it, like I said, it's, like, it's gone for a while. And the more you wax yeah. it, eventually, like, your hair follicles actually, like, they get damaged so much, like, less in hair, <laughs> less hair goes back, grows back softer. Whereas with shaving, your hair actually grows back thicker when you yeah. shave. So, like. I think part of it, too, is uh, you're a girl and you're a guy. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I just assumed your genders, but, <laughs> you know, you, there's a difference, like, typically guys are more comfortable with having hair and girls. I don't know whether it's a media thing or just a comfort level. Me personally, I just think it's physically uncomfortable having hair in certain places. It's yeah. itchy, it's prickly, it's weird. I don't like it. So like, I feel like the choice is like a little clearer for girls, like get rid of it and guys it's like, eh. So yeah. like it wouldn't be worth it for you to spend the money. No. Because there's no reason for you to get rid of it, but like, you know, for you. If you wanna get rid of it, like go all out, I don't care. Yeah. Josh? Yeah, now an alternative to all of that, uh, to waxing, is laser hair removal. I haven't tried laser hair removal. It's something I'd be a little bit more comfortable trying. I mean, really? yeah, waxing just seems really, really painful. And now laser it is, is really so expensive. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, if someone paid for my laser hair removal, 
I would do it. I don't have the money. It's you know somewhere between three hundred and fifty and five hundred dollars, depending on where you go. Yeah. But it's it's some of the same uh, benefits of waxing. It doesn't come back as quickly or as thick, which is really really nice. But it's yeah. also not as painful, which is a big thing. They do say that if you get laser hair removal um, frequently enough after you know a few years, it just stops altogether. Mm -hmm. So it's like sort of a long term thing. Yeah. But you know. I don't, I don't know, know if I, I would pay that much money. Also, I'm just like, like waxing, like I feel like I understand it, whereas laser is just some sort of weird light that like, it, like it, somehow like, it's like a zap. It's like, yeah, it, they, it they laser the gun. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I, don't know if I want a laser gun near it's my needles. lady bits. It's also, it's needles. It goes into the hair follicle, zaps it, and it like kills the hair. So it just like falls out like bleep. I don't think they do that anymore. Mm. I think they do. As far as I know, it's just the light. Because like, really? I've gotten like other things waxed, so I mean, sorry, not, not waxed, lasered. So like, it's there's no needle. It's just like they like that they might like, just they go, be then for like permanent. Wah, wah, wah. I think they do for certain things. I think for ingrown hairs, they definitely like needle. Oh, yeah, laser, they definitely have a needle for ingrown hairs. Shock, ingrown they hairs shock that. But either way. Yeah. Either way, it's still something that would be really cool to try, I think, at some point. If we can hit the money for it, we, why not? Hey, Wolf, want to pay for us? Yeah, laser <laughs> turned on. <laughs> Turn on tries. It. We'll start a, uh, a GoFundMe for letting me put lasers near my junk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, so whatever you do, do not use Nair on your sensitive bits, even if it's for the bikini area, especially for men. Like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, you will get chemical burns. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's fine on your legs, it's fine on your arms, it's fine wherever else you have hair, but for some reason, your, like, <coughs> genital area is a no for that. It just burn. Yeah. It will mess you up. I mean, chemicals that burn your hair out to begin with don't sound like a good idea, much less putting it near things. Like, yeah. really, I, I want to have kids someday, and I don't want them coming out with like a third arm because I <laughs> use Nair once. It's, it's, I mean, obviously that wouldn't happen. The children of Nair. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, no. <laughs> Where would yep. the third eye come from? It's that Nair that one time. Oh, no. So well, Yeah, once you decide on a method, so there's lots of different shapes that you can design your genital hair to look like. So we have some standards here. This is the full bush. Uh, it is a full bush. <laughs> now that's okay, but maybe you're not into that, in which case you could get the bikini trim, which basically trims up right here and here, AKA where your bikini line is. So that, oh, I just erased her leg. <laughs> it's fine, you know what I mean. Um, so for when you are getting a bikini on, it only comes about to there. So now you're fine. You could also get the uh, triangle, which is a little smaller. It's more like this. Ooh, it's more like this. It's itty bitty triangle pointing like that. You could also get what they call the landing strip, <laughs> which just goes like that. <laughs> and it's like, hey. And it can be a lot thinner than that, too. Yeah, it can be yeah. super thin. It could be thick. Usually the thicker one is called the mohawk, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah, I, I learned guess. that today when uh, researching this. But So there's your landing strip right here, looking good. Uh, you could also do, you know, shapes with this, um, various other. Then, uh, so you can do Brazilian or full Brazilian, which is like <laughs> gone. Where did the vagina go? <laughs> they rip out your vagina. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> just kidding. It just is no hair at all. Baby smooth. <clears throat> now, of course, you're not limited to those shapes. For the more adventurous uh, of you out there, you can design your pubic hair into literally any shape you want. A star, a heart, for Harry Potter fans, a lightning bolt, my face. It is available. <laughs> it's really easy to do. They'll just, like, really mess up your, your pubes. The, the, that, like, oh, yeah. the Avatar, the last airbender arrow you yes. see yes. putting down to your junk. Yeah. You have to be really careful, though, because um, a lot of shapes and stuff, they involve, like, a lot of tweezing. And tweezing, it's like when you have waxing versus tweezing, it doesn't seem like it would be, like, you think waxing because it's, like, like ripping yeah. and, like, get your skin. You think that would be worse. But a tweezing, it's, like, psychological. Yeah. <laughs> it will mess you up. <laughs> so um, the easiest way to do, like, if you want to do a shape is to get a stencil out of some sturdy material and apply it to your pubic hair using an unscented lotion. Then trim the hair outside of the stencil um, down to one 
quarter of an inch. Then take away the stencil and remove the short, shorter hair with your chosen method of hair removal, tweezing, etc. Not yeah. nair. Not, Not nair. nair. <laughs> now, I guess for you guys, if a guy had a design in his pubes, would you be weirded out? And if not, which design would you be like most impressed by? Or would you be happiest to see? Oh, I would be impressed that just like, it's like even if I didn't necessarily find it aesthetically pleasing, like the fact that they did that. It's like, wow. It's like, oh, nice. Like <laughs> Yeah, personally, as a girl, I find guys that have no hair anywhere uh, uncomfortable because like, like completely hairless, it's like, are you a baby? Are you a naked baby? Because then I'm like, am I a pedophile for this? So, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, you can keep it groomed, keep it trimmed or whatever. I don't know how comfortable I would feel if just it was a shape, but I wouldn't, like if it was something funny, I think I'd be down for that. Yeah. Like yeah. if it was like- Nice, like elephant ears. And yeah. they're like elephant ears and then it's like the trunk. Or like a, like a smile or like a thumbs up or something. Like <laughs> yeah. If you could manage you get a that? thumbs up in pubic hair? I don't know, but really if you can hard. manage it, I will be so impressed. Like, Cause like guys, we are dumb as, as all like rocks. We are just so, we're like, yeah, this is a really good idea. And then you end up with like, you know, some like, oh, you have the lyrics to like a Nickelback song in your pubes <laughs> and you're like, yeah, I'm a rock star. And then, you know, everyone's like, it's gonna be really cool. I mean, let me just show everybody that I still really like Nickelback. Awesome. But yeah, so finally, one of the most fun ways of decorating your genitalia is vajazzling, which Jennifer Love Hewitt first popularized in like 2010, uh, way back. That's not even that far. It's not even that long. But basically, you shave your pubic hair and then you put crystal ornaments, like stick ons, uh, like these, on your you know, general areas. So, we are going to vajazzle Josh. Oh. <laughs> now, Josh, come okay. here. You are going to kneel right here. I'm gonna kneel. Oh, so we kneel. can both reach you. He's pretty okay. tall, I guess that'll work, and yeah. And pull your shirt up. All right. I have the front, Ari has the back. I got the tramp stamp. Oh, All right. goodness. Yeah, hold you this. gotta hold your shirt up. Someone's gonna see my butt today. <laughs> Oh, there is a little bit of hair on your back, Josh. Yeah, I do grow some hair. I am 14 years old now. Shivering. Fun fact, these aren't actually like body gems. These are like for crap. Oh, <laughs> wow. I feel demeaned. All right, okay, it's, I'm ready for these now. <laughs> if I wasn't so painfully single, this would be a lot weirder. <laughs> a little too much. I think this is so funny. <laughs> oh this. no. This is a hoot and a half. I feel like I'm gonna take these off and it's just gonna be, I'm gonna be bare. <laughs> what does it look like? There's the front. Oh my <laughs> god. Here you gotta lift this up for In the case, back more. so here's the arrow pointing down. It's around his belly button for decor. And it says slot. Turn around. Yeah. I've been a bad girl. <laughs> okay, here we go. We've got uh. the back. It says meow. Oh. And then <laughs> there's little kitty nose and whiskers. It's beautiful. Oh no. <laughs> So that's all the time we have for today. So be sure to subscribe to Wolf TV on YouTube and follow our Facebook page. We have a Tumblr now. We're all over the place. We have a Twitter. So stay sexy, everybody.